pop story is the growing concern over an outbreak of a mysterious flu-like illness in Mexico. It has doctors in Ontario keeping a very close eye as well, and in fact surveying in particular 10 people who've recently returned from Mexico. The World Health Organization this morning says that 800 people in Mexico are infected with a flu-like illness, and it's waiting for lab tests to determine whether there are any links to a confirmed outbreak of swine flu in the United States. Just a few minutes ago, I spoke to Gregory Hartle, a spokesperson for the World Health Organization, about the outbreak. In the United States, we are dealing with seven confirmed cases of swine flu, five in California and two in Texas. And in Mexico, what are you dealing with? And, and in Mexico, we are looking at, at least three separate events and have actually discarded one or two other older events. So we're looking at uh, the event in Mexico City, which you spoke about, which is uh, tracking about 800 cases of influenza-like illness. In the center of the country of Mexico, San Luis Potosi, a much smaller but similar outbreak with 24 cases. And in the north of the country, near the California border, an even smaller event with four cases, but again with uh, influenza-like symptoms. And uh, what's causing us a great deal of concern is to see such uh, high activity so late in the season. Remember, we're at the end of April, and uh, end of April, especially in a place like Mexico, you would think that we should be seeing a, a quite steep decline in the number of influenza right. cases, and yet since the end of March, they've been uh, increasing, certainly in the capital. Okay. And um, most of the cases have occurred in healthy young adults. Yes, we were mentioning that yesterday, healthy young adults, uh, in 20 deaths reported so far. When you call it, though, at this point, influenza-like cases, have you by been able to identify yet whether these are also swine flu cases? We are still waiting for the lab results to be announced. So this is why we still have to call it influenza-like illness, because um, we don't have lab confirmation available yet. Um, this, the, 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 the fact, though, remains that because these cases are not happening in the very old or the very young, which is normal with seasonal influenza, that th th this is an unusual event and a cause for uh, height heightened concern. And we understand those lab results from Mexico are expected some point today. What at this point do you think is the connection between the Mexico outbreak and what you're watching in the United States? It's impossible to say or to speculate. Even if, even if the results turned out to be uh, it, it showed it were the same virus, we would still then have to ask questions how the transmission occurred, how efficiently does it occur? When did it occur? Um, did it come from animal to human, or is it human to human transmission? So there, are, as is usual at the beginning of an outbreak, an epidemic disease event, there are often more questions that we don't have the answers to than that we have the answers to. Gregory Hartle from the World Health Organization speaking from Geneva just a few minutes ago. A little bit of breaking detail in now from Mexico. Mr. Hartle was referring to waiting for the lab tests. Mexican officials confirming exactly what strain of flu they're dealing with. Uh, I have some comments from the health minister of Mexico and his word is, and this is his quote, we're dealing with a new flu virus that constitutes a respiratory epidemic that so far is controllable. What Mexico is saying is that nearly 80 people are being treated in Mexico, but the government has also taken the step of closing schools and universities in the capital of Mexico City and the surrounding area and advising people with flu symptoms to stay home from work. So again, we don't have the final and uh, confirmed lab results, but the word from the health minister is a new flu virus that constitutes a respiratory epidemic, and they're looking, of course, to determine any possible links to the swine flu outbreak in the United States and, of course, in Ontario health officials testing and monitoring 10 people who have complained of flu-like symptoms who recently returned from Mexico. We're watching that story for you.